Use one-on-one -on -one tools to do one-on-one -on -one jobs, okay? How many people in here have anything to do with anybody who sends out emails to large groups of people? Okay? If you send out an email that looks like a newsletter, has a masthead, has pictures, has fancy fonts, does anybody that gets that believe that you sent it to just them? That you even know who just them is? Right? Take that same information set it in crappy type and put Dear Bob by it, and all of a sudden you are having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the same million people that you sent that other newsletter to. But they will write back. The only people that write back to newsletters are quit spamming me or the rare person that proofreads them and emails you back the grammar mistake <laughs> in the third article. Okay? But they never email you back, gosh, I love that story, or anything like that, where they will if you use a one-on, if you're going to write a letter to someone, have you ever gotten a letter where because they're so smart, the person that sent it to you has all the things that they've inserted the data, like in a different color? I used to get letters from a car dealer that would go, Buick Skylark, Matt Harlow, 7,000 miles. And they would be in red bold in the letter. So I'm supposed to believe that he sat down and wrote this letter to me and like switched colors and things on these insertable data points as opposed to their insertable data points. So one-on-one -on -one tools to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. And you know what? Things are going to go wrong sometimes. And the number one rule when things go wrong sometimes, if you want to keep that relationship with your customer, is say you're sorry. That's it. Maybe you can't even fix it. But at least you're really sorry you did it. I'm sorry that you had to sleep in Cleveland for three days, sir. But the plane couldn't get off the ground. And when you say you're sorry, Mean you're sorry. And if you have kids, you know exactly what I mean. I'm sorry I hit him with a baseball bat. No, I'm really sorry I hit him with a baseball bat. Are your support materials useful? If you send them to your website, is what they find there helpful? Is the manual helpful? Car won't start. Oh God, what do I do? Does your phone center staff speak English? Okay? And I'm not saying not with an accent, but English is not too much to expect. Do you keep your warranty promises? Okay? I bought, I've been doing a lot of this traveling, talking stuff, and going to AAF board meetings and stuff. I, I was at the airport and I saw this guy with the greatest suitcase in the world. It's called a sky roll. You roll your suit up on the outside of a duffel bag and it'll fit in the overhead, and your suit doesn't have that fold in the middle. And the minute I saw it at the airport, I had to have one. Got on the web, found out where I could get it, bought it. Went out on my first trip with it this past week. I went to New York for the AAF National Board Meeting. In the parking lot at the airport, the shoulder strap tore off. <laughs> so the one thing I bought this for, to sling it over my shoulder and run around and not have the wheelie thing going, disappointed me. 45 feet into my journey, okay? I went on the whole trip, I got back, I went back to s &K Menswear, where I happened to buy this lovely suitcase, swapped it for me in two seconds, okay? Now maybe I'm not thrilled to death that it fell off, but they took care of me. Then that's really all I can ask. Is it pleasant in the waiting room where you're waiting to get the car that you paid $25,000 for, and what's that? Like a subcompact two-seater piece of crap, right? Um, fixed, you know. I'd put a thing, the second most expensive thing in your life next to your house. You're getting fixed, and they make you st sit in some grease-stained, stinky place. Do you get a rental? Or, you know, are they going to make it up for you? Okay, now, it's two and a half years old but it's worth three or four hundred bucks when I bought it, right? It's probably worth 87 cents now. But twice things have gone wrong. Just ship it back to the factory. Well, that's nice. What if someone calls me while it's at the factory? 
Is, will they answer it there? And if they do, will they answer it in English? Okay, dissatisfaction. We'll speed things up here. Okay, dissatisfaction is really the key to everything in this cycle, okay? And dissatisfaction, believe it or not, is totally unavoidable, all right? Um, there's three kinds of dissatisfaction. Supply dissatisfaction. If I buy a Diet Coke and I drink that Diet Coke, I am now dissatisfied with it because it's gone. And I want one that's actually there. So I go back through the cycle and buy another, okay? Lifestyle-oriented dissatisfaction. Um, I have a Porsche. I've never had a Porsche, but let's pretend I did. And then I have two kids. I did have this happen to me. You get your happy two-seater car that you love, right? And then you reproduce and there's nowhere to put them. Okay, so now I'm no longer happy with this car, but it's not the car's fault, it's my fault because my life has moved on. Or there's technology-oriented dissatisfaction. It would do everything I needed it to do, but now there's new things that I can do. So I want a new one, a new phone. You can get a phone every seven minutes on this principle. Um, so the trick is, all right, your goal is loyalty, to keep them with you or to steal them with some, from someone else, okay? Uh, we'll skip this story just to keep things fast, but I drove 50 miles to get my wife Taco Bell when she was pregnant with my daughter because she was a fiercely loyal consumer. Okay, and kind of mean. <laughs> um, heading off dissatisfaction, okay? Portia saw all of their delayed adulthood customers having babies and invented a Porsche SUV so that you could be a soccer mom and still have your Porsche, okay? That is how you keep people, right? Create dissatisfaction in your competitors' customers. So if, if you know that the people at T-Mobile don't have GPS on their phone and you're Sprint and you have GPS, then you harangue the T-Mobile people and say, hey, come to us and you get GPS. They're no longer happy so they move on, maybe some of them. And then last but not least, disposal. Okay, break it up is hard to do. It's your job to make it easy. So take away the old one. I mean, that's the simplest thing. Just take away the old one. Um, offer a bigger replace, uh, say you're doing a trade-in. Offer a trade-in on your brand that's superior to other brands so that people want to come back and buy their next one and their next one. Leasing, all leasing is, is a prearranged return. It's a two year long return. Make it green, okay? Disposal has all kinds of new aspects now. Make it easy for them to throw it out and feel good about throwing it out. At IKEA, they tell you what everything is made of and how it can be recycled, right? Even though whoever bought furniture and went, how's this going to get recycled? You don't even think it and they're telling it to you. Bigger and bigger and bigger and this is one of those places where you cannot lie. They will find you. If you're greenwashing, they will find you and you're worse off being found out than just not being green to start with. Um, clean running, all that stuff, you know, all those green things. Okay, your packaging, the same thing. As minimal, recyclable, easy to get rid of, etc., etc. If you've got delivery guys that are delivering refrigerators, they should ask if, they want, if you want them to take the box away because it's a pain to get rid of. Okay, so we've been all the way around, okay? The big, the big, big, big message, okay? Find your brand's voice. Make sure everything all the way around for your customers lives up to your brand's voice, okay? You've all got my card, or it's on your table if you don't. Um, I have a PDF of this. I can zap you if you want it, but you have to zap me to ask for it. Um, there you go. Questions?
None. Wow, I must really be good, he was very good. or really dull, one or the other. <laughs> You're very, very good. Very good. <laughs> Thank you all. If, if you liked me, I made Kelly leave a spot for me in, in an upcoming season so that you can find out why the brand is on the pyramid. That's even better than this, to tell you the truth. Although maybe not as funny. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>